People should care about the European banking because without credits there is no uh, economic growth. European banks are in a deep crisis for uh, two reasons. One is structural and one is cyclical. The structural is because the business model of the banks is very old. Mortgages are the same mortgages than uh, 100 years ago. The internet uh, revolution has made uh, the business model uh, obsolete. Uh, the second one is cyclical, that uh, we in Europe uh, we haven't uh, still recovered the GDP level of 208. Uh, therefore, it's very difficult uh, for the banks uh, to uh, say work out uh, the NPL burden uh, that uh, the recession has caused. The NPL uh, are the bad loans. Uh, bad loans are now uh, accounting for a large fraction of loans and uh, uh, in a sense that uh, to get rid of the bad loan require also uh, capital to be put in the banks. Banks are technologically very obsolete. Uh, they still rely a lot of uh, people. It's uh, very difficult for banks, uh, again, to overcome the technology gap and also to uh, get rid of the huge amount of redundancy uh, that are in the banking sector because of the social cost. I believe that it's much easier for sort of a company with a lot of technology uh, to become a bank and to uh, acquire a banking license rather than the other way around. The key takeaway is that the banking system uh, is at the very same stage like the press. Uh, the press has existed for centuries, uh, but now uh, is threatened by technology and maybe uh, in the near future or not so far distant future when we're not going to read any newspaper in the morning. The same thing may happen uh, to banks. Probably not so fast as for the press, but certainly I think within a 10 years environment they may be displaced by new companies. I think that uh, authorities are making uh, life harder uh, for banks because they require more capital uh, and uh, Therefore, for banks, it's going to be uh, really difficult to produce a decent return. They may force banks into liquidation. Liquidation means that everybody's losing shareholders, uh, bondholders, and also uh, the government because they have to pay for the people be laid off. Mm -hmm.